didn't really get into acting until your, your mid-20s. Right. And uh, you applied for NIDA, did community theatre, applied for NIDA, they said no. Rather than hanging around waiting for a second shot, you sold up everything and moved to New York, which is a big thing to do when you've only got 400 bucks in your pocket. And you live tough. What is sidewalk shopping? Sidewalk shopping, that's how I furnished my first apartments for the first five years of my life in New York. I left in December, which was summer here, yeah. and I was so naive, I had no idea. I flew into New York, and it was the, the day after a huge snowstorm had hit New York, and there was mountains of snow. I'd never seen snow. And I was so, I was so freezing cold when I got there, yeah. and didn't know anyone. I just basically, uh, you know, um, muddled my way through New York. It wasn't a short muddle either. You worked long. pretty crappy jobs for almost a decade. Almost, yeah. Uh, as you were making your way through up the acting tree, mm -hmm. was your Australian accent helpful? Did it open doors for you? No, it was a huge hindrance. Really? Yeah, 20 years ago, they didn't want to know if you were from... Well, they did want to know if you were from Australia, but for the worst reasons. When I got there... The only Australian I think that had kind of was well known was Mel Gibson, mm. and that was from you know Mad Max, and um, the, the other Australian that was incredibly famous more than Mel was Paul Hogan, mm -hmm. and it was because of that Australian Tourist Commission commercial. Put another shrimp on the. Put bar. another shrimp on the Barbie, which became the bane of my existence. <laughs> Every time I went for an audition. They'd say, so where are you from? I'd go, Australia. And they'd go, oh my God, we love that Paul Hogan guy. He's incredible. He's so funny. Put another strip on the Barbie. <laughs> G'day, mate. They, they do all this. You know, and it would go on for like 20 minutes. It was just, <laughs> and I'd be sitting there, you know, and as an actor, you know, you're all pumped up to do the audition. And you're ready to go. And there's 20 minutes to put another shrimp on the Barbie. Paul Hogan and I, and I just, you know, and then they'd say, so, you know, how's your American accent? They, well, they wouldn't, they'd say, okay, go ahead, read. So I'd read the part and they go, I can hear your Australian accent. And I used to think, oh, bullshit. You cannot. It's just because I was speaking with an Australian accent and you were talking about Paul Hogan and, that, and now it's in your ear and now you think you can hear it. So you dropped the accent eventually? Well, what happened was I just got fed up. So one day, I went to an audition. After like going through like you know eight or nine of these, I put a shrimp on the Barbie, I, I went in and I was just fed up. And somebody said, where are you from? And I went, Brooklyn. <laughs> they went, great, let's read. That was it. There was no 20-minute discussion about shrimps or barbecues or Paul Hogan or anything. <laughs> there, was just, there was just, you know, I got to just be an actor. And so from that point on, I, I, I lied. Wouldn't it have been great if at the end of that audition they said, we love you, but we're looking for an Australian? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's really funny. I, I actually did not get... A couple of, like, Australian parts came up in, in films, and I would be submitted, and those people would say, he's from Brooklyn. <laughs> he can't... We don't want to see him. He's from... He's an Italian-American guy from Brooklyn. And uh, so I would, I, I would miss out on those parts. You taught yourself Brooklynese, I don't know if that's the correct term. It is. By listening, right. is it? By listening to Al Pacino, is that right? Dog Day Afternoon ah, great was film. a great film that I was heavily addicted to. I decided that the best way for me would be to, you know, when in Rome, integrate. Just start speaking like an American. And at first, you know, the few people that knew me gave me, you know, a lot of, especially in Australia, my Australian friends were like, God, you sound like a septic tank. You sound awful. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, why do you have that accent? I mean, I still get it now. You know, I still get it. I love the fact that when you're doing an Australian accent, you shut your mouth. It's like, well, that's the Australian, yeah, that's that's the right. Australian talk. They don't believe them, yeah. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> I love it. I, I, listen, I've become, I, I, left, I left not being so thrilled, but I've become, because of being married to Gia, she really brought me back into Australia and a different Australian culture, mm. and I've really fallen in love with it all over again. Australians are like, there's something in the mentality, like that's why I think Australians do so well in Hollywood, because they're mentally, they don't take themselves too seriously, mm. for the most part. Mm. Like I was in uh, Meyer today, I was trying to buy like something, and some guy came up to me and he said, Oh, I recognize your face. <laughs> <laughs> I said, 
Oh, yeah. He said, you look fatter on TV. <laughs> I said, are you fat or did you lose weight? <laughs> and I thought, well, don't ask me stuff like that. <laughs> you know, it's like, but, but I, really, I really appreciate the kind of, that kind of candor. In L.A., they have, like, big Australia, you know, actor nights and, you know, celebrations of actors doing well in Hollywood and all that stuff. And it's fantastic because some, some Australia, inevitably, at every function, I'm going to have to use you as a, as a, as a dummy. No. They'll come up to you. And they, they've had too much white wine, so they have that white wine breath. Yes. And they come up to you, and they have no, no, have no idea of personal space. And they're like, I really love your films. They're fantastic. They're unbelievable. They're fantastic. And they're the best, the best actor I've ever seen in my life. 